everybody, Martika here with Martika J Makes and welcome. So today I am wanting to share with you what I have picked up that I think that all of you sewists will love if you have not seen this. So in Joann's now, they now have sewing planners, you guys. If you are a fan of the Happy Planner like I am, then you are pretty excited about this if you did not already know about it. So they come in different sizes. Of course, the classic size is what you're looking at here. And then the bigger size, the big happy planner. But what I did is I just picked up the components when I was there to put my own planner together. Now they have the planners that's already put together, but I knew that I really wanted to customize mine. So I'm going to show you what I got here and then I'm going to put it together and come back and show you how I did that. So what you are seeing right now is the front of the Happy Planner, the sewing notebook, okay? This is not a planner itself, but this is actually a notebook and this is the classic size. And as you can see, it says, so love and kindness on the front has all these beautiful flowers, very warm tones. And then when you open it up, it, tell, it gives you different messages for each uh, divider that's in here, which there's already three dividers in here. So the first one is there should be an extra sew day of the week called, and uh, I'm sorry, it says there should be an extra day of the week called sew day. And then you open it up and you have this beautiful page of just like a uh, little different sewing emblems, a sewing machine, iron, uh, pins and just all kind of cute little things and then you have a dotted page okay and I will show you what I plan to do with these dotted pages here shortly so uh, there's a little needle and thread in each corner of each page and then when you go to the next section this one says uh, my soul is fed with the needle and thread that is so cute and you have a little sewing machine up there so that is your second section there and you have some beautiful flowers on the other side uh, same page layout there and then the last divider in here it says let's stay home and sew which we all love to do so uh, you can go through here. You can use this like any way you want to use it as your notes uh, that you're taking for your patterns or uh, to jot down just different things. It's a notebook. So this is what I picked up in that collection. Now, the second thing that I picked up in that collection is the um the sheets okay these are the filler sheets and as you can see it is already laid out so you have your top priorities here uh for that day or whatever project you're doing is numbered one two and three then you have your supply list and your notes and ideas and then on the other side of that you also have uh, s sketches where you can do some different sketches at the top. You'll be able to see this more when I put it together. You have uh, your pattern reviews there. And I just think that this is really, really neat. So I picked that up there. Now I told you that I would show you what I would do with the note pages. And in this, I will turn it over so you can see it more clearly. You have a stencil, okay, of your body form where you can, um, uh, kind of stencil out your own body form and then put your whatever you're making draw that on there in the best way that you can I'm not a drawer so I do the best that I can but you even have different stitches that you can uh, stencil in different places you have uh, stars squares uh, just kind of like bullet points and things like that so you can really customize it and make it your own and you even have a body measurements reference guide here if you want to make your own uh, in your book to uh, put your own body measurements on so I think that that is really neat and I think that this is going to be put to great use now the last thing that I picked up was these uh, some more filler pages which is a calendar extension okay um, this is already in the planners that's already put together but I wanted to, like I said, customize mine because I may not be using this just every single day of the already dated calendar. So this is a calendar extension and there is all type of sheets in here, dividers, and I will show you more of that once I put this together. 
So I am going to go and put this together and I will be back to show you how I put mine together. And if you are watching this on August the 13th, you guys, these planners are on sale right now. The notebooks, all of the filler pages and the actual planners that's already put together, they're on sale right now at Joann's. So you might wanna check that out. I'm not sure if they're gonna be on sale tomorrow on August the 14th. You'd have to check the ad or call your Joann's store to find out. But just to let you know, Take a look. If you like what you see and you think that you could use something like this like I can, then go out and grab them while they are on sale. So I will be right back once I get this all put together. All right, so here we have the sewing planner all put together. Now, what you see differently is the rings that I have put on, uh, or should I say the disc that was on here. The ones that were on the notebook were these smaller peach colored ones. And yes, they were very pretty, very cute, but they only were good was good for the notebook. Uh, as you can see with everything that I have loaded in here, I needed a much bigger disc. So what I did, I went and grabbed one of my older Happy Planner um, planners and I took the disc off of those and uh, off of that one and put it on this one. Now I have some rose gold disc that I wanted to put on here to match this, but I couldn't find that planner at the time. So the black does just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up so you guys can see it. And as you can see from what I showed you uh, what the notebook was like before, I did change the front of it. I put the calendar extender in the front of this. And what I noticed when I opened up that package was that the calendar extender is only four months, you guys. So if you are looking for it to be 12 months, you're gonna have to purchase like three of these. And the best time to do that is like while they're on sale. So. As you can see, I have my months labeled here. And where I got those little labels from, you guys, it came with a pack of stickers. So it came with the months that you can put on the dividers. It came with the numbers uh, that you can put on the calendar. And I'll show you that in a moment. And is it also came with the actual uh, whole month spelled out. And I'll show you where I put that. These also came with like a couple of to-do stickers, some today stickers, some important stickers, and even some little flags if you wanted to make some notes in your planners. The second sheet of stickers is if you're like me and like to decorate in your planners and like for it to be colorful and fun you can add these uh, stickers that is strictly related to sewing and they have like all type of different sayings like busy hands happy heart sew all the things eat sleep sew repeat 
uh, don't dream it sew it I think that all these are really cute and then they also have like some little note stickers that you can put in your planner and make little notes inside if you need to um, yeah these are really cute now there is also a dedicated um, happy planner sticker book that is dedicated to sewing and I'm pretty sure that these same ones are inside that sticker book also I did not need that I have enough stickers and things around here so I did not grab that but if you want to yes there is a sticker book that is dedicated to sewing so let's go ahead and go through this so that you can see what I've done so the first month we have of course is September and this is where I told you you know this is where the whole month is spelled out and those little number stickers you take and you put those in yourself and that is what I have done they are transparent you can just see the little black numbers it actually matches my little disc here <laughs> so um, that kind of brings it all together but this is a place uh, where I would like put like probably dates that I would want to post videos, uh, maybe some pattern numbers that I want to start sewing on particular days. You have a note section over here. Like if you want to jot down some notes that you are planning on, you know, doing for the month and things like that. So then you turn the page and you have your weekly spread here, you guys. And you have up here where there are um, errands if you need to run errands for your sewing to different store if you need to go to Joann's Hobby Lobby any of your um, local fabric or thrift stores you can do that uh, get it done if you're working on a project you can put in here like um, the things that you need to get done that day if you need to insert a zipper or put on buttons or if you want to put in 30 minutes 45 minutes an hour into your sewing you can put that in those notes there uh, calls and emails if you need to make some calls uh, pertaining to sewing <laughs> you can do that uh, noted if you have any notes and then you even have like a little focus on a uh, section things these are things that you want to focus on like for the week for whatever week you are working in like I said I will not be using these every week but for the weeks that I am using them then they are here, okay? And who's to say, I may find where I am jotting some things down, you know, for the whole week. But then over here, you have your Monday through Sunday spread where you can make notes on each particular day. Um, maybe you want to break down your sewing project and that way you start it on Monday and you wanna make sure that you're finished by Saturday or Sunday. So you may jot down some notes on what you wanna do with that project each day so that you're done with it in the week. So. Those are just some different ideas and then you flip over and you have your following week. Now there is no date on this page so you can always put your date up here in the corner you know or over here in the corner wherever you want to. So that is what the the calendar section is about. So uh, each of these have a divider and each divider has something different this one says money can't buy happiness but it can buy sewing supplies and that's pretty close I agree <laughs> and then for the month of October uh, what I have chosen to be October because I'm going to start this planner in September uh, it says those who sew come with strings attached absolutely and then for the no month of November uh, it says sewing mends the soul and then for the month of December, it says busy hands, happy heart. And all of those are kind of related to those stickers that I uh, showed you. So that is the calendar side. Now let's flip on over. And I, it also comes with this folder that fits inside this classic planner. Okay, remember this is the classic size. They also have the big uh, happy uh, sewing planner, but this is the classic and it's easy for me to carry and good enough for me to put the notes that I have in. Now I have the, I figured in this pocket, I would put like maybe some coupons uh, that they always give you at the register. You know, when you check out at Joann's or Michael's or wherever, or you might have some type of notes or something that you want to uh, stick in there for that, uh, for, for a later uses, whatever you want to use this for, you have a pocket on both sides and, and it says uh, beautiful things come together one stitch at a time I just love all of the different sewing sayings on these and at the end of every month you guys you can always reflect you know or actually you can reflect and you can look at what's 
uh, coming up, what you kind of want to do in the following month. You have your priorities here, what uh, important notes and do more of what you love. It's just a big note section that you can break down and kind of do it whatever way you want to. So the next section that I have in my sewing planner is what you saw when I opened up the notebook in the first part of this video. And what I did with this section, you guys, is I broke it down into categories of garments. I uh, used this particular one where it says there should be an extra day of the week called Sew Day. I wanted this to be the section for dresses and skirts. And that is where I have this right here, okay? So I have, I may put like the sewing pattern number up here of what I'm working on. Up, up here it says sew all the things. These are top priorities, one, two, and three. So this is probably, like I said, where I would put the pattern number of what I am working on. And then right here is where my list of supplies for what I need for that particular pattern. And I can grab it out of my own stash or if it's something I need to pick up, I would probably write that down, put a star next to it saying that I need to go and pick that up from the store. I have my notes and ideas for that pattern. If I may maybe want to hack that pattern or something like that. Okay. And then on the other side of that, I have it to where I can do, you know, my sketches up here, uh, fabric swatches. If I have a, a, some ideas or if I know what fabric I'm going to do that pattern in you guys, I can attach my fabric swatches right here with like some double sided tape or I can staple them right to this. Okay. How neat is that? And then there is a project review here. So after I'm done with it, I can write down my notes, uh, for what I want to let you guys know about this project, like what size I cut it out in, if it's easy, if I would sew it again, uh, difficulties I had, or, you know, whatever. So I think that that is just really, really neat. And then I put, you know, several pages of, of, uh, this particular sheet in here, but then in the same area, I also made sure I put my note, my dotted sheets so that I could do my sketches or whatever notes that I am going to be using for that pattern. I can simply, if I wanted to, I can simply remove this sheet of paper here. And if I want to put it behind the project that I'm working on so that I can be sure to be able to easily find it and jot some notes, I can put that in there just like that. Okay. I can take my stencil, stencil that out and do whatever I want to with that. Okay. So, um, that is the first section for dresses and skirts. The next one is tops and pants. That's the one that says my soul is fed with needle and thread. And I have the exact same thing. The last one that I have is for crafts, etc. And these particular labels, you guys, I labeled these myself. Okay. I just use my handy old school Dymo <laughs> labeler that I've had for years. And I went on ahead and I put uh, my labels on these dividers that was already here. Okay. So the last one section is crafts, etc. Um, these are things that may not be, you know, pants or jumpsuits, dresses or skirts thing or tops, things like that. And it just says, let's stay home. And so I showed you that before. So that is that entire section. Now, the last area that I have in this notebook, it's, it's loaded, you guys, <laughs> is I put my stencil pack back here. This one is my body measurements reference guide. So I have my measurements. I labeled it up there. So I'll be able to easily find it and flip to it. And um, I figured by this material, this is, uh, you know, just like a, a acrylic type material. So I figured if I wanted to, I could use like a dry erase pen on here because our, of course our measurements, you know, they change from time to time. So I can easily, you know, use a dry erase on here, or I can stencil my measurement out and use this as a guide to where I need to write my measurements on my drawing. And then right here, I have my symbol stencil and that's how I labeled it. And that's where we have, you know, all the different little shapes, little bullet points. We have the uh, little stitches, symbol. I mean, just all types of different things uh, that you can uh, use these different um, stencils for, okay? And then last but not least, I have my body stencil. And I labeled that up there because the... Um, 
the dividers, the tabs are located at the top instead of on the side. And that's where you have your body stencil and you have more stitches, zigzag, straight stitches, things like that. Um, you have like on the fold, you know, if you want to make a note about something that you uh, decided to cut on the fold instead of cutting, you know, two of or something like that. Um, yeah, you have all of those types of things here. And you guys, that is my sewing planner that is the end of it so that is like i said i customized this for myself because i knew how i wanted to use it but you can purchase the planner already with sheets in it and then you can purchase like uh some extra packs of something and add it to the planner that's already put together um as you can see i'm trying to show you from the top here as you can see there we go that's from the top you can see the labels there and then from the side you can see all of my labels here on the side so I can get to everything very easily and very fast so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, like I said if you're watching this on August 13th 2022 these are on sale all of the sewing planner and items are on sale at Joann's right now. If you are a happy planner person or never used it before, but you want to get a sewing planner that's strictly for sewing, uh, you guys, this is it. I think I am going to absolutely love this. So I'm sure I'll check in with you later, let you know how I am liking it. Like I said, I will not start it until September. And um, until then, happy sewing, you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye.